Hello everybody, I'm here to do a review today. My name is Buzz and my review is on the variable volt Bronco, which is really uh, a lava tube. Uh, let's see, my review on it, everybody knows how it works and all that, but here's one I don't think everybody knows. It's a new something I read on the internet and tried. Okay, if you hold that down, which is, you can't read nothing, it's showing it's on 5.8, which I have a 4.5 volt cartomizer in there, so that's going to, that's the right amount of voltage for sure. Then if you press this seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we get 4.1 volts. You can't see it, but on the battery that's how much charge is in the battery but if I hold the fire button down press first press the red button hold the fire button down one two three four five six seven it gets a reading of 3.8 no idea what that means maybe that's how many volts the atomizer is drawing watts beats me I don't know no idea it's pretty cool though uh, something new maybe when someone sees this review, they'll know what it is and they can let me know. Okay, I ordered this from Texas Select Vapor. And the guy that runs it there is Brett. And uh, he has some really good juice, which I don't happen to have in here, but uh, I really love the oatmeal cookie he has. Uh, I ordered some peach, uh, juicy peach. That was really good. Uh, let's see, the service is really great. Uh, Sends it out right away, confirmation right away. A lot, good, really good service. Ready with the best of them on that. Uh, uh, Brett, he goes a little beyond. I've emailed him when I started uh, doing my own juice. Uh, I emailed him and asked him about advice, and uh, he didn't mind helping me out. And uh, talked to him about a few things here and there. Uh, good guy. Let's see the the drip tip. That's a, a Texas select vapor and I have a blue drip tip because I'm dripping or not dripping uh, vaping uh, blue cotton candy from uh, the vapor room and they've got some pretty good juice too and good deals uh, you can get a 30 milliliter bottle for ten dollars or something like that I can't remember for sure on the weekends and it, but it's just certain flavors that you just got to hit and miss that's that's a pretty good deal okay uh, let's see let's show hitting this great vapor good good juice tastes like uh, cotton candy not a lot of flavor going in but coming out you, you taste the the cotton candy it's 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 pretty good now this is a 50 50 uh, PGVG and 24 milligrams now this is the tail end of a bottle uh, I got that when I first started vaping and uh, somewhere I'd read that was the best mix ratio lately I've I've leaned more towards a either a 60 40 or a 70 30 even uh, just I don't know six of these half a dozen of the others everybody's got their opinion that's that's what I've grown into and what I've seen to like better when I make it myself I make a 70-30 a mix most of the time but I'm still learning how to do that too so that'll probably change also uh, the thing about the lava tube is it is variable volt but it sucks for LR stuff I like HV stuff high voltage uh, LR low resistance uh, this thing it I'm not even going to all that. There's a hundred videos out there about why it doesn't work well on it. But if you're going to buy this and you think, oh, I'm going to get this mod, uh, I'm going to throw my uh, 1.5 dual ohm or dual uh, coil cartomizer on there and I can dial it in just right, you're going to be disappointed and you're not going to like it because it's, it's probably not even going to give you 3.7 volts going to give you three four or something your ego battery will work better than this for low resistance but on high resistance it works really good so 
you can see, if you, uh, let's see, I get my cartomizer at uh, East Sig Charleston. They always have a, they got a real good supply of high and low uh, ohms uh, and everything in between and atomizers. Uh, if you want to use 3.5 atomizers or, uh, let's see, anywhere from 3 up to, I guess you could use a 5, but you'd be really be pushing this thing to, to go to get the max volts out of it. I, I would suggest a battery box mod if you're going to use a, a 5 ohm cartomizer. Something that's got goes a little more than 6 even. But uh, uh, if you if you want to do high high voltage, or it, it works really good. No complaints. I use it constantly. Uh, it's great for in the truck. Uh, I fabbed up a little holder that I riveted to the dashboard that fits in real nice. Uh, oh yeah, the tank I'm using, that's my own de design. It's a, it's a triple T tank. It's a tough tube tank. It's got a PVC uh, vinyl, clear vinyl tube. And it's an, it's an old DCT tank that the, the side split out on. Uh, works really good. Anyway, uh, that's my review of the variable volt Bronco. From uh, Texas Select Vapor, uh, I think he has it at sixty-nine dollars now, which isn't a bad price. Uh, you can search around and find the same thing a little cheaper. But I did see a lot of of uh, complaints about the lava tube, saying that the five ten adapter was screwed on crooked. And as you can see, this is on nice and straight, and uh, there were scratches and glue in the little window. Uh, this thing is. Uh, cosmetically, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's got a clicky button. Uh, the, the little buttons, even though they're small, you can still adjust it just fine. And uh, it's got an on and off to carry it around in your pocket so you don't have to worry about misfires. So, uh, like I said, if you want high voltage and don't mind using that, you'll be real happy with this. But if you're strictly into LR and you don't want to venture out into high voltage, pass it by. You'll just be disappointed. And uh, that's my review of this, and everyone have a nice evening, and keep on vaping. Talk to you later. Bye.